The woman who fanned Superman's flames, who caused even more havoc to be ensued in the world as time went on. And Justice Wonder Woman. We've been seeing so many people talk about how bad of a character she is and how she honestly could have been the true villain of the entirety of the Injustice storyline. And I usually tend to agree with it, but I really just had to ask myself. How bad was she really? Yes, we have so many other videos talking about, oh yeah, she was the true villain. She was just horrible and she was a horrible character as a whole. But I actually wanted to just dive in and just talk about my opinions on her and see if my opinions relate to everything else that we've been seeing about her. She isn't a good character by any means and the things that she does do in the entirety of the Injustice storyline is honestly atrocious. And nobody's going to sit here and say that, oh yeah, she was in the right mind or she did everything correctly in the best way possible. There are so many things that happened in Injustice that could have easily swayed Superman to not do half of the stuff that he did. So I just really wanted to talk about this. The first instance that I want to talk about for Injustice Wonder Woman is one of the first mistakes that she made as a character. This being not giving Superman a letter or a note that Aquaman gave her to specifically tell him, just basically going around the fact that I've given advice and I've been peaceful throughout most of my time and if Superman needs my advice I'm here for him. Her not giving him this specific message really was a big turning point honestly in my opinion specifically due to the fact that Superman really honestly just needed a friend. I'm honestly going to make a video very soon about why I think Injustice Batman has a lot of the blame for how the story went because both of them both knew that Superman really just needed somebody to talk to honestly with everything that was going on his family being gone and him being at such a turning point in his mental state him having someone like Aquaman, him having someone like Batman, him having someone in general to be able to talk through and understand what he's going through would have helped him out so much. And her not going and saying, yeah, hey, Arthur gave you this message. Go talk to him. Go figure out what you need to figure out and then come back and you'll be just as good as New World. At least understand how to deal with your emotions was really problematic. The next thing that I would actively love to talk about is the fact that one, she actively stoked Superman's fires. What I mean by this is she was out here telling Superman that it was perfectly fine for all of the things that he had done as of to that point. In terms of killing the Joker, she completely justified that. In terms of doing things along the lines of going into an entire prison and just killing everybody in there. She was saying it is perfectly fine to eradicate criminals before they can either do crimes or before they can return to do crimes. This is a horrible way of looking at it because if you just say, oh yeah, they're, they're gonna commit crimes anyways, let's just take them off the board now so there's zero possibility of crimes happening. Crime is always going to happen and we have so many different things to talk about in terms of that alone. And the fact that no matter what you do, crime is always going to happen. But the way that they really wanted to set it up is just going, yeah, kill them all. Make sure the crime can't happen so nothing like this could ever happen to him again, which is obviously a horrible way of looking at it. And as someone like Wonder Woman, who has been alive for so long and seen so many different ways that humans have evolved, humans have changed and how the human life works. She obviously should have known way better in terms of how everything should have played out. She was just completely using everything that she knew was wrong in the, her own ways to justify having Superman act the way that he acts and justify Superman doing the things that he does. All of the things that he was doing were completely off of hand and she was justifying it in every singular fact and really helping him to do the most evil things possible for his own like benefit in her opinion. There are so many other things that I could talk about, like the fact that she was just going on a complete killing spree, killing so many different people and legit helping other people like a few groups of women grab guns so they can protect themselves from dictators, even though she knew that would just lead to more violence, more killing and more crime in the long run. But she wasn't caring about it, whatever, what at all. And even if we just go into the fact of her killing Captain Adam, her killing Helena, or her just specifically going around the fact that they could have gotten Bruce too, is just 
complete atrocities, honestly. This is her actively being a full-on villain and making villainous choices, even though this is obviously supposed to be a Wonder Woman. This is a person that's not even acting like someone that we've actively ever known. And this is obviously a different like version of her, yes, but this is still someone who's been alive for a long period of time would, would know and would be smart enough to actively understand the consequences. This Wonder Woman is a completely atrocious person due to the fact that she knows what the consequences most likely are going to be for this and she has no care whatsoever. She's completely invested into doing all of these things and trying to do this all, which is honestly horrible because it's changing a character. Yes, that obviously, as I said, different universe, different roles, or like at least like just different roles entirely in terms of like this entire storyline. But Wonder Woman is always been known as like this actual good, strong female character, like this well-written female character and the way that this has like her portrayed is honestly hilarious in my opinion just so i can just specifically say that they have her written down so perfectly in the terms of having making the wrong choices for the horrible reasons but still making it look honestly perfect and i don't yeah you can argue with that as much as you want but that's just my opinion in the long run I've already talked about some of the things that Injustice Wonder Woman has done, but one of the more brutal things that she did do was help Superman in the execution of Martian Manhunter. In this, Martian Manhunter is refusing to join their regime and refusing to join the cause that they're trying to fight for. And she automatically, while Martian Manhunter is trying to like just show Superman visions of happier times with him and Lewis, she stops him and helps Superman quite literally execute him burning him and just completely destroying everything that was about it this is honestly horrible due to the fact of this is someone that was on the justice league this is someone that they had known this is someone that really wasn't going to be too much obviously as a threat in terms of a lot of other facts but this is someone that was more of a peaceful person martian manhunter even despite his name, isn't usually a confrontational person. And the fact that they still did this was just a real sign that they had really gone off the deep end. Another example is honestly just what they do to Harley Quinn, skewering her with a sword. This is just another example of Wonder Woman completely going off the rails and just skewers Harley Quinn after she just chooses to say a few choice words about how her relationship is with Superman. This is just really hilarious because of the fact that this is pure hypocrisy because the Wonder Woman knows exactly what she's doing and is purposefully manipulating Superman to have the exact situation that she wants and do the most destructive things possible. She is quite literally using Lewis's death to gain an opportunity with Superman knowing that he will still always love Lewis and she's just manipulating him for whatever sakes and whatever feelings that she could actively get to. This isn't her going like, oh, I completely am like in love with Superman and I want to like do all of these things because I believe in me. It's her just manipulating the cause and manipulating everything that she's just trying to have happen for the worst reasonings possible. She does so many cruel and evil things just by manipulating him that it's completely hilarious on everything that she does do, including like playing Superman and just like, well, like, well playing Superman and Supergirl and just kind of just orchestrating a lot of the events going around, crushing the spine of Galaxor and really just changing how his entire life would be perceived yes flash would eventually try helping him out later but one of the honestly more despicable things that she did do was influence all the other amazons to join her regime to join her cause and creating an entire army to fight for her to fight for the reasons that they believe in which is horrible honestly because these are amazons extremely powerful people that are going to be extremely hard to kill in any fashion and extremely hard to kill in any specific way so the fact that she was able to get them all to agree is surprising to say the least but horrible in terms of having this many more people to help you out is horrible for everybody else they knew crime was never going to be able to stop so this was just going to be a complete tirade turning superman into an 
utter tyrant and turning him into the worst thing possible. I've already said, Superman really just needed someone to talk to, someone to completely understand what was going on in his mind and someone to be able to go like, yo, you're not in your right mind. Take a second, calm down. Let's talk about this. Let's discuss this and let's figure out exactly what you need to do to be able to work through this. Wonder Woman was completely against that. She used every single thing that she could have thought of to make sure that Superman went the complete opposite way, as in terms of not telling him anything, as in terms of just manipulating his emotions and manipulating his entire thought process to go, okay, this is what we need to do. Get rid of all crime. Do this specific thing. Just destroy all of these people's lives. Just do all of these different things for no reason. And it will be working out for the best. And she knew exactly what she was doing. And she was obviously the biggest supporter of this because she was the main one trying to influence all of these things to go down. So when it comes into terms of how bad was Injustice Wonder Woman, she was atrocious. She was the at least one of the main big reasons that Superman ended up the way that he did. I've already said that I'm probably going to be making a video fairly soon discussing what Batman had to do with Injustice because Wonder Woman didn't start it off. With Joker and everything that happens there, Batman was the first person that could have really helped him out. And I will be making a video specifically talking about everything that Batman did wrong and why he is somewhat at fault for all of the events of Injustice. But obviously Superman has his own part of the blame that he needs to take in and Wonder Woman has a good portion of the blame on her side. But what do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below and just give me your thoughts, opinions, and everything else down in the comment section. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.